This is my Christmas project because of confinement. I decided to convert all the 8mm film to MP4. So I decided to use an old gaff projector, add a Pi camera and a Pi 2 to read all the images from a film one by one and convert them to image JPEG images. So as you can see on this on the screen, the Pi camera is here. The Pi 2 is here with the Pi Touch. And what does it what the system does is I remove the motor of the projector and put a stepper motor instead, which is controlled by an Arduino driver. And I have put a, a optical sensor here will look at the position of the fork. So when the image is moved down, the sensor knows where it's down and snaps up an image with the Pi camera. When the image is taken, I uh, ask the Arduino to move to the next frame and going back and forth like this. So to do that, I have to remove the lenses of the Pi camera and put an extender tube. So this is the extender tube here. And I put the M12 lenses with a focal length of six millimeter instead. So this way I was able to go to do macro images. So I was able to get the, the size of the frame of the film. So in the software, I use Tkinter to make the software. I'm gonna stop it right now. Right now it's working. So I'm gonna stop it. Press stop button. Go to options. Okay, I'm gonna put it in English. Uh, I'm used to put multiple languages, so I'm gonna, I'm French from Quebec, so that's why it was in French. Now it's in English. So on the left side, you have the frame settings. So for example, the top is at 310. I could change the top at 280, for example. So if I return, you're gonna see the blue lines going up. So I can recenter the frame because each camera doesn't have always the same position. So you, you more or less need to adjust it all the time. So that's why I have those settings. Roughly, if you use the same camera, they more or less at the same places. Here you have the save reload, so I could save the settings. So if you, and uh, on the middle one, you have the frame rate. Uh, film were very expensive at that time, so they were not filmed at 24 frames per second. Often they were using 18 frames per second, so that's why now it's set at 18. But you can change the setting here, or you can just type the information, the setting you want. Okay. For the output, uh, the output is MP4, so you can specify if you want 480p, 720p, or 1080p. But in reality, the resolution is not good, so I set it to 720. You can change brightness and contrast using those values here, but right now I have a problem because OpenCV and the Pi camera doesn't use the same method for brightness and contrast. So I'm gonna have to figure out what it is, but right now the brightness and contrast only use are only used on the Pi camera. On the streaming, I'm using OpenCV, and when I capture image, I'm using the Pi camera library. You could save images and the raw images. The difference is the raw images is the full frame of, of the camera. So if the cam Pi camera is five megapixel, I'm gonna save the five megapixel. If when you save images, is everything convert to the specification 720p or 480p. You could also toggle the light. So if I toggle the light, you're gonna see the light turn off here, light turn on here, okay? So this is basically the main menu the options so I return back you have a number of images here tell you which is the ID of the image you're gonna save you save images you could move forward so when it's very nice when you install the, the film because you have to move it so if you press forward it's gonna move one frame you see it's moving one frame and the image change okay normally when you start a new film you clear all so it's gonna clear all the folder for the images and uh, like this you can start fresh okay the 
MP4 is automatically, I'm using uh, the OpenCV uh, video system, so every time you take an image, it's already inserted to the MP4. So when you press the stop, the video movie is already done. So before I was using FFmpeg, but you have to wait until all the image is converted. And after that, do the film. Now it's on the fly, so it's way faster. So if you look at the code, Okay, the setting I save is all the information about the, the frame position, the rate you want, the resolution you want, and the config you have the language you want to use, and the camera is the brightness and contrast, and if you want to output the images or the raw images. On the projector, Pi file, you can look at it, but more or less is, uh, I'm looking which type of camera is the 8 or 5 megapixel camera, find the what is the resolution so I can readjust everything about it. So that's more or less what it is. You can look at my, uh, I put everything on my GitHub. So if you look at that, then you will find all the software. Thank you.